It's 124 days since a ball was last hit here. Today, the courts at Castleknock Lawn Tennis Club were full. We opened the court bookings on Wednesday of last week and the, the demand was unreal. Uh, every court booking for today is uh, fully booked. Um, and the rest of the week, we're, we're near enough the same. The, the weather's helping, but it's, it's great to see. And the sports enthusiasts are delighted to be served. I played golf before this, so it was all right, you know. So nine holes before this, and then uh, tennis, so an hour's tennis, so. An action-packed day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good on you. Christmas Eve, about six o'clock, was the last time I played. <laughs> I'm so glad to be back. You did better than me because I didn't even get out. I haven't been out since the beginning of December and I really missed it. I encourage anybody to get out and get out in the fresh air and play, do anything. It's great to be alive. Every day above ground is a good day. A short distance away, the Gibbons at Dublin Zoo were relieved to see visitors back. One so excited she narrowly missed wetting the Taoiseach. <laughs> that would be a In a more sanitary St. Moctas, the players were in their pods their first time together since December. It felt like an eternity for me. I haven't been here in so long, like since Christmas. It's so good. I didn't really get to see anyone. And it was kind of boring at home all the time. They've missed the whole social element of it and all that. I know they're back at school, which is great, but it's totally different. As I said, this group behind me, the under 10 group, they've been doing their Zooms three or four nights a week. So they've been really, really good. Great dedication from the volunteer coaches. Um, we've been doing Zoom training. And how'd you find that? Um, I didn't really like it. I didn't like it as much now. It was hard and couldn't get to see anyone. And it was harder because we didn't have enough space, but it was fun as well. Which would you prefer? Definitely outside and here. And outside is where any reopened activities will have to take place. Other plans to reopen business will be considered by government this week. Well, this evening I'm here in a large car park close to the M50 in Castleknock in Dublin, where students from the Cave Academy of Irish Dance are getting their very first Irish dance class in person since before Christmas. And with me now to talk a little bit about what it's been like for these students is their teacher, Ashling McCabe. Ashling, the last time when sports reopened, dancing wasn't included. So how is it going to work this time? Um, it will work in small pods of 15, just like they've asked us to do. We will do anything to make this work this time. We are just so happy this time that we've been considered as one of the sports and we're allowed to be outside. As you can see, it's a solo thing, Irish dancing. So we are well able to do this in distancing. And what's it like for the students? They've obviously smiles on their faces. They must be delighted to be back. They are so excited. This is a really big deal today. And I think I can feel the atmosphere, atmosphere here. We all have um, donuts for when we finish class, but I don't think we need them today. I think we're more than happy to be back. And as a business, you've been closed for four months. How have you managed it? It's been super tough, it really has. We have a really supportive family at Cave Academy with the parents changing their whole front rooms and kitchens to make Zoom studios for us. But we've made it work because we absolutely love our dancers and we would do anything to keep the academy going. So, as you can see, we're happy to be back though. All right, Ashley McCabe, thanks indeed for speaking to us and having your students appear for us on 61 News this evening as the first phase of the reopening of society gets underway this evening. Back to you.